Hi, my name is Oscar. Today I'm going to introduce you the AM100 tablet. Okay, let's go to open it. Here is a tablet that has coverage for more than 30 brands. So now I'm going to show you the accessories that the tool came with. Okay, this is the UP200. It's good for you to know that the tablet came with four OVD1 connectors that are going to be useful for most of the old cards. It came with the OVD1 connector for Mazda and for the Kia models. As you can see. Okay, now we are going to unbox all the accessories and we are going to continue in the next video with the information explaining each one. Okay, now we already unpack all the accessories and first of all I'm going to show you the IM100 tablet. This one you need to use the UP200 and then for the most of the American cars and Japanese cars, we need to do the key programming through the DLC cable. Remember to attach it at the top of the tool and then you need to bolt it. Like this. For the UP200, you need to connect it to the USB cable directly to the tablet. Okay, so now we are going to start explaining you the accessories that are going to be used with the UP200. First of all, I'm going to show you the adapters of the EEPROM. Actually, we have two. Two are the same one, you only need to use one. We put two in case that one can be lost. So this one is the APV001, used to read the EEPROM information by two ways. You can weld it that means that you can put the EEPROM, in this case we have one for example, remember that this is not included at the, at the package. So you can put here and it, then you need to weld, that means it depends on which model of EEPROM you are using, you can weld it. For the most of the common cases, you can use the other adapter that is the APA002, which need to be used with the APV001. I'm going to do the assembly. And then third, you just remember that you need to be sure that the number one here just match with the number one because remember that EPRON have one pin. This is the first one need to be on the same one. Then you can put the EPRON like this. You took the EPRON and then put it on and that's it. That's the second way. After all, remember that you need to put it on the UP200 like this to read the information. Okay, now I'm going to explain you the APV002 used to read the MCU information by welding the ship on the bow and connecting it to the UP200. As we did it for the APV001. You just need to make sure the right uh, information have con included on the same pin number one, like this. Unfortunately, we don't have the MCU out, so for do the demonstration, but it's the same way as the EEPROM. After the assembly, it should be like this. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use the accessory APA001 which have two wires. One is to be used with the MCU, connected directly to the ECU. And the other one is the clamp, which are going to be used to do the read information of the EEPROM, right? First of all, we need to connect it to the APA200, like this. In this case, we have an uh, ECU, as an example. I'm going to show you how to use the clamp to read the EEPROM information. We need to make sure that we are connecting to the right EEPROM. Now it's connected, so the connection has to be okay in our hand. 
the information that we are going to read are going to be wrong, so we cannot do the key programming. Now I'm going to the, do the demonstration of, on how to use the AAC001, which are going to be used to connect directly the tool by the OVD2 to the model. That means that we can read the information with these cables, we connect to the, to the model directly, and then we, need, we use the OR1 to make the power on the ECU because we don't make the connection by the OVD2 cable, we connect directly to the model. So, remember where, when you are performing the function, you can tap at the table view wire diagram to follow how to connect it. I'm going to show you an example here. In this case, we are going to use an Audi vehicle. Let's imagine that we can use a MCU, okay? So, let's use the Audi as example, the A6. And then you can check here, when you, you put all key lost, it shows you here, at the end view wire in the gram. When you access here, it will tell you which cable or which accessory you need to use or in the other hand, it will show you how to do the connection directly to the ECU as we already showed you. So that's it. I hope you, that you can understand what's the use of all of these accessories. If you need more information, you can check us at the YouTube channel or check our website at uh, aurodag.com. Thank you.